This is the Orlando Fire Station number three. It was constructed in 1926 in downtown Orlando, but in uh, later years it was moved to Lock Haven Park, part of their museum complex. We're going to go inside, see some authentic uh, firefighting equipment, including uh, several uh, engines. So uh, come join us. And this is the uh, La France fire engine. That was the original, it was built in 1926. So it's original to the museum, <laughs> to the actual fire station um, number three of Orlando. This was the original fire truck. This is a 1911 La France steam powered fire engine. Driver station there. The massive steam engine. This was back when uh, steam powered vehicles rivaled gasoline powered cars. And this hose cart would, uh, um, in some cases, be pulled by the fire engine. Orlando's first fire engine was sold to Okoe in 1948 and then into private hands in 1957. This very lengthy uh, fire engine served uh, a popka which is uh, nearby, just slightly north of Orlando. I 
and a um, very um, long ladder. This, uh, this ladder looks like it's uh, 20 feet times uh, well, 40, um, 40, maybe a 40 foot, four story uh, reach. Back in that, uh, back in the 1920s, I would have been as tall as the buildings would be. So, very functional. So I guess this would be called a ladder truck if the main purpose was to carry the, the ladder. And this is a hose cart. Um, two big wheels rolling along and uh, connect to the fire uh, hydrant. Uh, Franklin stove to the right, but the uh, fire pole here on the second floor would be where the firemen would have uh, slept. Here's an interior view of the fire doors. So a fire hydrant on the right, and I believe that this is available for turning. Not making a sound, but you can see how the function of it works. All right, a set up in the fire station. It looks like uh, equipment from the 1940s, maybe even earlier, 1930s. A listing of the City of Orlando fire alarm boxes as of August 31st, 1928. On the left is an 1880s leather fire bucket and a metallic fire bucket. And an early brass nozzle with leather body and straps. On the left is a crank alarm. And on the right here is a drop weight box. This is an alarm box and it's the uh, inner workings. Another alarm box, um, call box from station, um, old station number seven in Orlando. chemicals. And here we have assorted uh, fire nozzles, various sizes. And some old handwritten logs from the fire station. It was dated 1885, May the 7th. Various hoses, nozzles, handles. So this nut and bolt was um, a piece of the World Trade Center after its uh, 
destruction on September 11th, 2001. It's a circa 1926 American La France fire engine steering wheel. This is the original tin ceiling as well. This is a photograph of the central station number one, and it was probably located in downtown Orlando. In this hose cart, this was taken at the intersection of Central and Orange in downtown Orlando. These are members of the Orlando Volunteer Fire Department circa 1880s. This is a horse-drawn uh, fire carriage from the 1890s. And this is a fire rescue scene from the 1983 Angebuild Hotel fire from downtown Orlando.